truck stop She looked about as wild as the story she told Today we're going to follow the Mississippi River north and meet a friend of mine, Aubrey Preston. He's a preservationist of all things music and an Americana Music Triangle enthusiast. He's going to be headed south down the Natchez Trace Parkway from a town called Leapers Fork, Tennessee. We're going to be meeting a band, Bishop Gunn, in their hometown for the first annual Bishop Gunn Crawfish Boil. Does anyone know where we're headed yet? Y'all, we're headed to the crossroads of the Americana Music Triangle. We're headed to Natchez, Mississippi, where it feels like coming home. Today, we're going back to the roots. It began in towns like Natchez, Mississippi, years and years ago, when the people first started to get together to connect through music. And it's still about that today. It's about the people heading up the road right now with their windows down, headed to Natchez, Mississippi to eat some crawfish, support local music, and have a good old time. So come on, y'all, follow me. and Let's get to Natchez, Mississippi. All right, you guys, I'm here with Bishop Gunn on the Silver Street. Yeah, go ahead, Travis Burnfield. Yeah, this is Natchez, Mississippi, and it's obviously hot as hell right now. <laughs> <laughs> but Natchez is a tourist uh, destination, so we will meet people from all over the world. And now we're actually traveling around, and we actually get to go around and meet people and bring Natchez to them. And our album is called Natchez, and that's how much we want to share. Like, we're just real proud of, you know, this little place. Y'all built something, and that's what we're trying to do with the, the pilgrimage and the Americana Music Triangle, bring it all together yeah. to build something. This is the roots. This is where it comes from. The interesting thing about the triangle is you can really go through every genre of popular music. You can turn on the radio, and it's all derived from this area in the triangle. This is where the music is coming from. This is the roots of pilgrimage, being here in Natchez, Mississippi. What are some other places along the triangle that you see represented at pilgrimage? If you can imagine in your mind Nashville, New Orleans, Memphis, that triangle, and then the crossroads of that is Natchez. You can make a case that this is the most important location for these genres, blues, jazz, country, rock and roll, soul, R&B, gospel, Cajun Zydeco, bluegrass. This would be the crossroads of all of those musical forms. It's about these little towns that give fuel the fire. They're the ones who like light the fuse, right? Like there's got to be people on the way to light it. When you have something like the pilgrimage and you have 30,000 people there and, and we say, well, the purpose of the festival is a festival with purpose. And every year we do a little bit to build all those communities. We're helping the people who are coming because they don't know about these places. That, and, that's and we're helping the communities mm -hmm. by sending those people. Traveling along the Americana Music Triangle, you see like different places like this, like repurposed grocery stores. Now it's a music venue, and um, it's our favorite place to play here. It's like our hometown clubhouse, you know. When you hear Smoot's Grocery, and there's not even the word venue in there or nothing, so people, it's kind of confusing. People are like, all right, you playing at a grocery store? Thank you, guys. Do you find that these places along the way, like the Smoots and the Greens groceries, like are kind of like hidden gems? Like oh, not yeah. many people know about them. Like Those kind of places, though, man, is. They're usually pretty small, you know, off the beaten path, but it's the joints. people in there. You know, it's, it's the people around the triangle in these small little hole-in-the-wall venues that just make it, you know. And that's the vibe we like, because kind of sharing culture, just the energy, man. It's just always some characters in there. We're going to see people here today from all over being pulled into this community and making a connection and making it feel like home. I just really appreciate what you know, the pilgrimage is about. It's immersive, it's the food, it's the, it's, it's the music, it's the environment, it's the story of the site. The purpose of a festival is a festival with purpose. So while we're having this incredible entertainment experience, doing something really good that has purpose, that will make the world better while we're doing that, I think really is just a fantastic way to lay up. So it's truly building into a, an international event right there in our hometown of Franklin, Tennessee, which is an amazing sight to behold. The idea that all of that would come back together under one big tent and basically create the first family reunion of all of these communities and different countries and regions where the music came from 
And at the end of the day, I believe 20 years from now, a true pilgrimage of people coming every year is what will make a fantastic experience for the visitors that come in.